but I say follow your passion. You know, whatever story you want to tell, there's an audience for it, you know, somewhere. Um, I myself, I'm not Afrikaans. I'm not even South African, you know. So when we were shooting this movie, I didn't understand the word of Afrikaans. Um, but yeah. You put in woman in top, money behind, you losing a game. Yeah. Ain't gonna go, cause I'm the law. Gotta be fine, never the car, she could not again. I'm standing there laughing, I know I'm hands, I'm tripping again. Yeah, Hi guys, um, I hope yeah, you're good where you are. Okay, I, I feel like my my forehead is looking somehow. Let me take down the light and there's things on my hair. Okay, so today what I'm going to be doing is talking about Epiphany. Epiphany is a film uh, that's on Showmax. It came out in February this year. Uh, it's by uh, John Jones Umba. So um, I'm gonna have him today. We're gonna be talking about that form. What I took from the form, like he, he told me, he wants me to review it. Um, um, I think it was like two months ago. I still have to watch it and all these other things. Um, and yo, it's amazing. It's a beautiful film. Obviously, at the beginning, I was like, okay, uh, this is film is in Afrikaans. Hi, April Didi. Hi. Uh, so obviously this form is in Afrikaans and English, but at, at the beginning, because when I watched the trailer, it felt like the, the form is in Afrikaans only. So I felt like, yo, <coughs> it's gonna be hectic. Uh, but yeah, I ended up watching it. I gave it a chance uh, after two weeks or so, and then after that, I learned that it's a beautiful form, man. Hey, Pakiso, you always hear him, I say. Thank you very much. I hope you have your tea uh, or coffee out there so that you stay awake because I talk too much. Okay, so uh, what the form is about, I feel like it's, it's about a lady who wants to have kids, but her husband is going through, like, insecurities because he had, like, problems, um when he was a kid he got attacked with his brother and there's like a mess going on in his head so he's still dealing with mental issues obviously what i learned from it was more like um the fact that if you you're doing something or you oh you're having green tea my say that's nice so what i learned from it is that um what i learned from this form is that no matter what a person is planning or doing like what dream they're chasing or whatever lifestyle or career they chose you shouldn't judge them you shouldn't um feel like you are better than them because your cause makes sense to you it doesn't have to be like that you get it so that's a beautiful that's that's a beautiful thing i love it i love 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 the story and i feel like um at first obviously oh hello myself at first, obviously, I was like, okay, this is like an African form. And the way it's going, because you could see the emotional part or the way the main character with uh, like the husband of the main character, or maybe they were co-characters. Let me just say co-stars. So you could tell that he was dealing with a lot of mental stuff. So I figured it might have a lot of racial tension in between. I was waiting for that one thing. And then... Boom! One thing happened. So I, I feel like Joseph can explain the form better because I want to know what he feels about that form. So he's here. Uh, let me just say hi to him and try to go live with him. Oh, my sir. Oh, my sir. How's it, my king? I'm good at you. I'm but good. I'm using like near right. myself. Are you on your phone? You no, no, no. I can hear you perfectly. Huh, I wonder what's up, but it's fine. What's up, but it's fine. Okay. okay, so, so, so yeah, I can, hear, yeah, myself. I can hear myself. What is epiphany in your point of view? I think the core of the story is, is about dealing with, um, um, you know, not having children is, not having children okay. is quite a big deal. Okay. For, it's, it's a reality for most women. 
you know, but um, obviously in this case, it isn't her. It's the husband's infertility, you know. So, yeah, I think that the core of the story is really about, you know, how well do you know your partner? I think that's one of the main things, you know, how well do you oh, know yes, the person yes, that you're yes, with? Yes. You know, also it takes, it takes um, certain situations, certain challenges, you know, happening in your life that, um, you know, that get to... You, you that raise some questions you know about the person you might be with and also your own personal beliefs about the world why was this story important to tell i was directing music videos um directing editing music videos but um, i wanted to this is really what i wanted to do you know i wanted to start directing um you know narrative pictures so i wrote um i wrote a 12 i wrote a 12 page um, prologue of a movie, but it was a horror movie. So I realized that in that 12 pages alone, that was probably, that was very, very expensive. You know, so I, I, I decided to shelf that and say, let me tell an intimate story that will not cost me, you know, a, a lot moment. of money. A lot of money, yeah. yeah. A lot of money, yeah. Let me, let me make something, something very personal, you know. So I, I, I read, I read a story my producer actually um, showed me a story somewhere in the U.S. about this lesbian couple, this white lesbian couple that could not adopt, that wanted to adopt, but they could not adopt a black baby because they said that in their neighborhood, you know, uh, they lived in quite a racist neighborhood, you know, so they didn't want to bring oh, yes. their child into oh, yes. that. So I was quite inspired by that. And I was thinking living in South Africa, you know, like racism is a reality. You know, um, we all get to experience similar things. So I thought, okay, let me, how do I, you know, tell, I like the story. How do I tell a South African story of this perspective? What would you want people to take away from this story? I think that the message is, because, you know, we had we had different endings for the film, right? Um, but we, I think we just made a decision to, you know, we didn't want to show what happens, what her decision is. You know, we wanted you to look at the film, look at what's happened, and then make your own decision. What do you think happened? Um, what would you do? You know, I think film is not about... Okay, your network is starting at the moment. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Yeah, so I was just saying that, you know, um, I think the point of movies is to ask questions, not to lecture people about how they should live their lives. You know, so if you see that, if you're in that situation, what do you do? How do you think this ended? You know, it's really up to your own interpretation. What other works does Jungle City Pictures do? Uh, so we are a full service um, creative uh, production company. So we, we, um, we do music videos. We do brand films. We are trying to get into the commercial space. You know, but our main focus right now is um, music videos, but we are really trying to get into the commercial space and more feature films. The production value was amazing. How did you manage that with your budget? I think I would give all credit to my cinematographer. His name is David Cabale. So we, um, to be honest, we didn't have like a strong budget, you know, by South African standards. Uh, by all standards, really, uh, we didn't have a strong budget, so we decided to put a lot of focus, our focus, into making sure that because on an indie film, you have to make sure your performances are right because you don't have the production value of millions and millions, and then you have to make sure at least your cinematography complements the performances and the story. Oh yes, oh yes. So yeah, I have to give all credit to my cinematographer. You know, he really put through. We, yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> How do you raise funds for a feature film? So, you know, funds, that's, it's, it's, it's a very difficult and long journey. So the thing is, this movie was self-funded, um, obviously with some very, very generous donors. Um, the film was self-funded. It took about probably a year to put everything together. You know, things had to be sold. Um, <laughs> yeah, some things had to be sold. Um, yeah, we just, 
it was it was we we have to thank some of our incredible donors for for the funding that we had it was difficult but you know we we, we put through but um i think the main source of funding for everyone should be the nfvf the dti you know it's just that for this one i was in a rush i blame my own you know um persistence naive persistence you know um i would say in a way a little arrogance to think that you know i wanted to, i just wanted to make the movie i didn't want to wait for nfvf funding for dt oh, yeah. funding oh, yeah. you know so yeah but i think the the route to go is nfvf and dti definitely do you have any advice for emerging filmmakers i think that is um yes we all have our stories we want to tell and that's fantastic but the reality is funding you know like if i want to tell a sci-fi movie um we have to deal with the reality of what your situation is so i think that if you can if you can try to come up with a, your first feature film anyway try to come up with something very close to your heart um something that won't cost you too much money you know because i think yes. that that is a realistic yes. target to make you know that is more accessible to everyone but i say follow your passion you know whatever story you want to tell there's an audience for it you know somewhere um i myself i'm not african i'm not even south african you know so when we were shooting this movie i didn't understand the word of african um but yeah i didn't understand the word of african but you know i we i trusted the people i was with i trusted my crew you know and um yeah so it's just a story that i really really wanted to tell you know i by no means was out of my zone was out of my comfort zone you know with a film like this so i say um follow your heart whatever it is that you want to make you can really really do it thank you thank you thank you thank for you, that thank you. thank you very much and thank you for your advice thank you for your advice thank you sir wow 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 um uh because there's feedback i wonder whether it's my phone or his phone but something was off there um but you uh, i want you to go check epifany uh -huh, let me say it again epifany on 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 show max it's a beautiful one i'm sorry about the echo on uh, my king i realized like when whenever i talk there was echo it's just uh joseph has to go to another meeting so i was like let me just uh, um interview him finish and then i'll fix it on the edit for youtube thank you very much uh i love you guys thank you for being here um i'll see you next time bye because we rejoice that's people they wish to be